I went to NBA 2K25 Community Day, and finally, I played my team early. So in this video, we're gonna cover so many things. We're gonna cover the starter pack, both of them in that, and we're also gonna be opening up the first packs we're ever gonna see of NBA 2K25. And trust me, the animation is crazy, as we're also gonna be opening up packs on the showcase spot as well. So first things first, you can see on this Community Day build, the only thing we could go into is Triple Threat Park. But when we clicked on that, that's where we were able to see our starter kit. And just like most of my teams, when we go through this, it has one for every single team. And I tried to find the best one, but for me, in the end, I ended up picking OKC. But then it didn't really matter because then we were able to see our free agent pack. And we already knew the players in these, but they are very good. As you can see them right here, and we we're able to select two of these cards. First of all, there's Luka Doncic. And this card does actually look pretty good because obviously he can shoot the ball. I thought his speed was going to be pretty low, but it's actually not too bad at an 84. But then again, his defense is awful. Then when we look at the Hall of Fame badges, you can see he has two of them. Now, one thing to remember this year in my team and this year in NBA 2K25 in general is there are way less badges. So two Hall of Fame, 15 gold is actually quite a lot. And he has Deadeye and Shifty Shooter as his Hall of Fame badges, which aren't too bad. And the rest of the gold ones are pretty nice too. So I'd say Luke is not looking too bad. Next up, we had to check out Anthony Edwards. When I looked at his stats, I was so impressed. I thought the stats on this card were absolutely amazing with, yes, yeah, so a 95 driving dunk and an 86 three ball. But the only issue with this card is when you look Look at his badges, he only has three gold badges. Like zero Hall of Fames, I don't really know. But one thing I do need to mention is all of these cards that I'm showing you in this video right now aren't confirmed to be the final cards that we get day one of my team. So you never know, this amp could be updated, but we'll just have to wait and see. Then next up, we had to check out KD. This is by far one of the best cards out of them all because his stats are crazy. And then he comes with two Hall of Fame badges and the rest of the badges are good too. Then obviously next up, it was Giannis. Giannis is obviously a beast. He's got a 68-3 and then it's Giannis. So you know he's going to be a beast Because he also has two Hall of Fame badges And some good other ones And now for the final card It's time for Nikola Jokic I was looking through the stats of this man Thinking that he looked so mid But the thing that changes it Is this one actually has four Hall of Fame badges And the badges do look pretty good Including the gold ones too So then it was time to decide Which two of these five cards I wanted And I decided to go Kevin Durant and Giannis If these are the stats for the cards On day one of my team I definitely recommend you do the same But then we get another free agent pack Where we get to pick one of these five NBA legends. And 2K did confirm that these are going to be available for 10 games now. So that's actually a big W. First of all, we have Allen Iverson. Obviously he's short, but his stats do look very good. And then he's got four Hall of Fame badges being some very fun ones as well. Next, we have this 96 overall Michael Jordan. And man, his stats look absolutely crazy. I can't even lie, but are you ready for the badges? I was so shocked. Michael Jordan's Hall of Fame badges are Deadeye and Limitless Range. Like what? I did not expect that. As we know, this could change, but the rest of the gold badges are good too. Then next up, we had Dr. J. And yeah, this card looked pretty good. Only a 69-3, which was disappointing. But then four Hall of Fame badges on him, including some good gold ones too. Then next up, we had Kevin Garnett. This card looked pretty good around the board, but not too amazing. He did have four Hall of Fame badges and some very good defensive ones in that as well. And then finally, we had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. This card shocked me because yes, he only had a 33 ball, but his stats looked amazing. And to make him even crazier, he had nine Hall of Fame badges. That is so many more than what we've seen before. And the badges did look pretty good, including some great gold ones as well. So then from this historic pack, I decided to pick none other than this Kareem. And that now meant we had our free agent cards and also all of these golds from the starter pack. And once we picked our three preferred players to use in Triple Threat Park, it was time to enter the park. Then we had a little walk around. You can see I looked at the packs. I looked at the store. There's not much to do in this first room that you get into, but then that changes when you run out to the actual park. And the first thing I noticed was this player right here with Kareem above his head. That's not any normal Kareem. That's a gal it's the Opal Kareem. So then I was wondering, how do we get this car? And as we were wandering around the park, you can see I looked at this screen right here and I actually saw someone open a pack for a Galaxy Opal. I was very confused, but then I remember what they said in the blog. They said that this was something that's actually gonna be in the park where you can open packs in front of people. So then we had to go check it out. So you can see here, once you line up, you can then watch other people open up packs and the person before me was able to get a pink diamond Dwight Howard. But then when we loaded in, we saw that we had these packs right here. That's right. We've got five Galaxy Opal packs, five pink diamond packs, and five diamond packs. So obviously, you know we had to open up the Galaxy Opal pack, and now it's time to see the animation. Are you guys excited? Because man, this is like the number one thing I get most excited for in 2K all year. And when we open it up, bam, just like that, that's the Galaxy Opal animation. But it does actually remind me a lot of the 2K23 Dark Matter and also pack animation we had that entire year. And I much preferred that pack animation than what we had in 2K24. So at least instantly, 
this Galaxy Oppo animation is an upgrade, but are you now ready for the walkout? So once we flip it, you can see it's very suspenseful because first things first, we're able to see the gem tier, which was obviously Galaxy Opal. Then we get the conference, which is exciting. And then a random stat. The random stat I absolutely love. And this card right here ended up being Giannis Antetokounmpo. His Galaxy Opal was such a W. And yes, he's a 98 overall. That card looks crazy. But my only issue with the pack animation is like, this is the final screen. That player right there is just a picture. And I don't know, in the past, I kind of prefer the player actually coming out and getting excited. Let me know what you guys think of this animation though. Do you guys like it? Because personally, I think it's absolutely perfect until we get to that final point. Then I'd say, yes, it's still good, but it's just not as amazing as what we've seen previously. Still remember though, this isn't the final build of the game and it might actually be different if you do it in my team rather than in the triple threat park. We don't know yet. But yeah, getting Giannis was certainly a W and you can see after you actually pull that card and then goes on your head when you're running around the triple threat park, just to kind of flex to everyone. Then I was just watching the next person in line opening up their packs and look at what they pulled. They ended up getting a Kevin Durant, but not only that, it ended up being hollow. So yes, that obviously confirms that hollow cards are in the game, but man, hollow Kevin Durant is such a flex and that card just looks sick. Then we had to line up and look at our packs. And then I decided to actually have a look who's in these packs. Remember, I don't think these players are actually gonna be there on day one. I highly doubt that. I think these players were just added for community day for us to see the animation and also use them as well. So there's some crazy players like LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kareem, Shaq, so many crazy cards. They're really the only ones I wanted to pull were either Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, or LeBron. So it was now time to open up our next pack. And once again, we love to see it. Bam, there's the Galaxy Opal animation. And then it was time to flip the card. And the thing that I love is the fact that this allows us to guess what player this is actually gonna be. So Eastern Conference, vertical. And then I realized, uh-oh. I think I know who this is. It's a duplicate on my second pack of this entire thing. We only have five of these packs and I've already got a dupe. In good news, me getting a dupe means I can either quick sell the card, but then I loved what I saw. I absolutely loved it. When I clicked on swap player from collection, you can see we have it right there. Send to my auctions. Obviously we knew the auction house was back, but that's still amazing to see because obviously we didn't have that last year. Anyway, then I just had to quick sell this card for 2,500 MT. Then yes, once again, we had to just continue waiting in the showcase spot, even though later on we figured out that this isn't the only place you can open up packs in the triple threat park. That's my bad. But let's go through the packs a bit quicker now. Because next one we opened up once again, bam, we got the Galaxy Opal animation. And then I was actually excited when we opened up this one because once again, we were able to see a new player and it was from the Lakers and it was none other than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now, one thing I want to talk about this pack animation is this random stat is my favorite thing. Because you may have noticed when I pulled Giannis the first time, it showed his stat as being a 90 on his offensive rebound. Then the second time it showed his stat as being his vertical at a 98. So that obviously shows that these stats are going to be random, which gives you that suspense because it means you don't instantly know what player it's going to be when you actually see that stat. You have to kind of think, hmm, who's it going to be? Uh, so let's say at the start of the year, there's a diamond Steph Curry and a diamond Shaq that drops. And let's say the card that you want is Steph Curry. When you see that diamond animation, you're obviously going to see the Western Conference, but then the random stat will come up. And then it has to get you thinking what card actually has that stat. So obviously if you got a high three ball, you'd know it would be Steph. And if you got a high standing dunk, you know it would be Shaq. But then there's those medium stats like driving layer, there might be like an 82 for Shaq and then a 96 for Steph. So it really gets you thinking, well, it's just the thing I love. And obviously this is just going to be crazier in the later stages of the year when there's more crazy walkout cards coming out. Anyway, it was time to move on to our next pack. And when we opened up this one, I got so nervous because once again, we saw the exact same animation as last time. It was a center from the Lakers, but it actually ended up being Shaquille O'Neal. So that was a huge upgrade for us right there. And then I just casually watched the dude in front of me pull Michael Jordan, who I wanted so badly. And then HTB went up because he was next and he ended up pulling this LeBron James, which man, I just wish we were able to get that card. But then it was time for our next pack. And again, we got the Galaxy Opal animation, but you won't believe it. We saw the exact same animation as before and we got the exact same player being Shaquille O'Neal. So that means once again, we just have to quick sell it. And that was the end of our Galaxy Opal packs. We definitely got some good players, but getting two dupes out of five packs was such an L. At least now we still have these pink diamond packs and these diamond packs. And out of the pink diamonds, we can get some very good cards like being this Joel Embiid, this Allen Iverson, and also it's Demarcus Cousins. And now it's time to open up the pink diamond pack and see the pink diamond animation. You can see it is extremely similar. Then once we flip it, we still have the same thing with the tears. And for this one right here, we ended up getting Joel Embiid, which is probably the best pink diamond we could get. Now there was one thing else I noticed with this pack animation. Once we see the stat and once we see the conference, when the gem kind of shakes and then kind of absorbs to create the actual card, you may notice this color right here. You can see for Joel Embiid, this is like a light blue and it's kind of like the 76ers blue.
exploit. Then if we look at when I pulled Pink Diamond Giannis, you can see that's a Bucks Green. You might see where I'm going here, but yeah, so that color correlates to which player you're going to get. So let's say if you wanted Giannis when he drops, you want to see that green after you see Eastern Conference and also that stat. Then it just confirms in your brain who that's going to be. But yeah, getting Joel Embiid from our first Pink Diamond pack definitely wasn't too bad. Then next one up, we ended up getting 97 three-point shot as our stat. And I was like, okay, this card's going to be pretty good until I realized it's the six foot 76 player once again being Allen Iverson. Then next Pink Diamond pack we opened up, obviously I was excited to see the animation, but you won't believe it once again. We ended up pulling another Allen Iverson. The amount of dupes I ended up getting this was absolutely crazy. So again, we had to just quick sell that card. Then for our next Pink Diamond pack, this one was a lot more exciting because we actually ended up getting a Mavs player being Dirk Nowitzki. And for our final Pink Diamond pack, I was actually super excited for this one because we ended up getting the No 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 Man being Dikembe Mutombo from our final Pink Diamond. So now all of those packs are gone and now we've just got this Diamond pack. The Diamonds we can pull are pretty sick. We've got what? A Damian Lillard, a James Harden, a Rui Hachimura, which was kind of funny because I was sitting right next to HDB. But then once again, we have to see the animation and you can see the diamond animation. It's extremely similar. And then once you flip the card, we've got the exact same walkout animation for the diamonds. And the first one where you ended up pulling was this Aaron Gordon. But this was when I finally realized. I finally realized that you can walk over to this spot right here in the Triple Threat Park, where it's kind of like this little store. And this is where you can actually open up packs. This means you don't have to line up. You can just open them up like usual. And this made it so much quicker and so much easier. And you can see the quality is better too, because you're not actually watching it on a screen. So once again, we see the diamond animation. I wish I actually saw this for the Galaxy Opal. But then for our next diamond, we ended up pulling this Alonzo Ball, which is a sick card to get. Then we obviously had to open up our next diamond pack. And this one was really funny because obviously HTB was sitting next to me. And guess who we pulled? We had to pull this Rui Hachimura. Then for our next diamond pack, this was probably the number one diamond I wanted because I wanted to test his animations. We actually pulled this James Harden, which is such a W. And finally, for our next diamond, we ended up pulling this Tyrese Halliburton. So I much prefer opening up packs here. Sure, the showcase spot is absolutely sick. And I'm definitely going to open up quite a few packs on the showcase spot to be able to get double rep and also be able to flex and show what cards we pull. But I think if I'm opening up packs normally, I'm definitely just going to open them in the normal pack market to get the better quality and to also open them up just normally and quickly. But the showcase spot is still really sick as I love the fact that you're able to actually flex what cards you got. So then you can see right here, these are all the players that we ended up pulling a bunch of Galaxy Opals, a bunch of Pink Diamonds and a bunch of Diamonds. To be honest, out of all the cards that were on the Community Day build, I didn't really get the luckiest. We ended up pulling so many dupes, but I guess that's somewhat expected. Anyway, you can see here, this is my triple threat team with Giannis, Kareem and James Harden. And this team was a low key fire. I actually ended up playing extremely well with this squad in some real gameplay. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to smash the like button on this video. And remember once again, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think of the pack animation. Do you think it's better than 2K24? Do you think it's worse? I'd love to hear what you guys think. Anyway, this is my first of many videos from 2K25 Community Day. I'm still in New York. That's where we're chilling right now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for new, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.